Hey guys, it's Brandon here for Roots Like a Tree. Thanks for watching this video and for checking out our channel. You guys, today I kind of wanted to make my own video talking about why I am vegan. It's something I haven't done yet before, but my wife, on the other hand, recently made her own video talking about why she is vegan. A lot of people were requesting her, uh, or requesting that of her. They wanted to know about her journey, her story, why she's vegan, why she does what she does. You know, nothing wrong with that. However, if you're vegan, I think we all know that it's not about us. It's not our journey. It's not our story that needs to be told. Told, it's the victims. We have to keep in mind who are the victims when it comes to choosing what we consume, what we call food. So she graciously in her video reminded everyone that this isn't her journey. This is the animals. This is all about the animals. That's what going vegan is truly all about. You can go vegan for health and environmental reasons and other reasons like that, but as long as you um, hold on to the fact that this is about the animals and keep things about ethical reasons, you know, you got less of a chance of falling off the rail. So let's get into my story. Like most people, I have not been vegan my entire life. In fact, I didn't go vegan until my early 30s. Uh, it wasn't until, uh, gosh, I don't know, a couple years ago, at most, there was a, a coworker of mine, a good friend of mine, may he rest in peace, uh, Elvin. He saw a documentary, I think it was either on Netflix or YouTube, called What the Health. And he came to work the very next day and was just raving about this documentary. He wanted all of us to watch it. We had to watch it. We have to see. We gotta, you know, pay attention to it. Day in and day out, he kept pestering all of us at work about this particular documentary. Until finally, he was like, you know what? I'm gonna force you guys to watch it, or at least listen to it. He connected his phone to a Bluetooth speaker at work and just blared the documentary throughout the entire warehouse where we were working at the time so that we could all listen in on this documentary. So there I was sitting at my desk working while listening and paying attention to this documentary called What the Health. I was hearing things about health, medication, benefits of eating whole food plant-based, what uh, you know animal products do to the environment, all this kind of stuff. Now keep in mind, What the Health is not a vegan documentary. It is solely meant to get people thinking about e eating whole food plant-based. Um, and so there I was listening to, to all this information and I was completely dumbfounded, like my mind was blown. So I went home that night told Jonica about this documentary. We found it on YouTube and we sat there on the sofa that night and watched the entire thing. We were completely blown away. That point right there, that was a turning point for me. If it wasn't for Elvin telling me and forcing me to listen to this documentary at work, I don't think I would be where I'm at today. Uh, so we're sitting there watching this documentary at home in its entirety and I thought, wow, okay, I gotta make some changes because I don't wanna contribute to that. I don't want this health problem. If eating whole food plant-based can help turn things around with me and help me lose weight or whatever it may be that I'm looking for personally for my own gain, then hey, so be it, let's do it. You know, another thing that drew me into plant-based uh, diet was the fact that you could still consume animal products. Now, this is why I don't like vegetarianism. This is why I'm not really a big fan of, of plant-based, because I still see it as eating animal products. Animals are still dying with what you're choosing to eat. Even though you're plant-based, you can still you know, choose to consume chicken or eggs or whatever it may be, fish. You can still have a fish taco, but as long as the other items on your plate are whole food plant-based, you're set, you're good, you're golden. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm not really a big, you know, one, an advocate for these types of diets because they are diets, whereas veganism is a lifestyle. Diets have a beginning and an end because you're trying to reach a goal. Veganism is an entire lifestyle. It's an ethical lifestyle that keeps in mind the victims. So anyway, I decided to go plant-based with my wife. My wife, I don't think, was quite vegan at the time. Uh, she might have been. She might have been like a baby vegan. Um, but I know I definitely wasn't vegan. And so I thought to myself, well, going plant-based is, you know, the next best thing. You know, it's not quite vegan. I don't have to cut out my animal products that I love so much because I love the taste. You know, I, I can still hold on to those animal products while still eating some good whole food healthy stuff on the side. So there I was eating plant-based and in doing so, I was doing my own research on plant-based diets and nutrition stuff and everything, but because I was Googling these things, other things were showing up in my feed, be it social media, Facebook, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. And it was animal cruelty, animal cruelty stuff was showing up on my feeds. Video footage of, of, of animals being tortured and abused and killed, you know, all this crazy stuff. 
And so I'm watching these clips and a lot of these the stuff I was seeing were clips from the documentary Earthlings. And so if you've seen Earthlings at all, you know it's a really graphic and intense documentary that's meant to be in your face, you know, not holding back. It's, it's, it's complete solid proof and evidence of what we choose to do with our money to these poor innocent animals, these victims. And so I'm seeing these clips. I remember I was at work, I was on my break or something and I'm scrolling through all these, these things that are showing up on my phone. Like what the heck? It was like an onslaught of all these graphic videos. And so I text my wife, I was like, look, is this true? Look at what I'm seeing here. I'm sending her things, I'm sending her links, I'm sending her photos, I'm sending her video clips. And she's like, yeah, this is what we pay for. This is what you pay for if you, you know, buy into animal products. If you buy a burger, this is what you pay for. This is what you're doing to this animal, you know. And so after confirming with my wife and continuing to do my own research, I, I, I said to myself, you know, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. If I claim to be an animal lover, I cannot continue to kill animals just because I want to eat their abused, chemically injected, dead carcass. All right? That's selfish of me. If I claim to be an animal lover, it, it's it's... It proves to be ironic if I have a dead one on my plate. If I claim to be a Christian, it's really ironic of me to be destroying God's creations, be it the planet or the animals that he created. It's really just ironic. And so I thought, I was thinking all these things and I was just like, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. So boom, just like that, overnight or over day, it was daytime when I was texting my wife, I decided to go vegan. Completely decided to go vegan just like that because I saw and I allowed myself to see what I was refusing to see before. That's the thing, you guys. A lot of people refuse to see this type of footage or the, you know, the video clips, the photos, even memes. The people just refuse to see memes, you know, of what's actually going on in the animal agriculture, how things go from an animal to your plate. And be it intentional or unintentional, I still allowed myself to see these things. And it was because of that that I was just like, no. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. It broke my heart to see how much suffering and pain I was causing based on the food choices that I was making to these innocent animals that wanted to live. You know, uh, if you believe in God and you're a religious person, then you believe that God created these animals um, with us. They weren't for us. You know, he didn't say that these animals are for us to eat. You know, if God is a loving and a patient and a merciful God, how does that match up if he made these animals to feel pain and suffering and yet tells us to cause them pain and suffering? That's not loving, that's not merciful, that's not peaceful at all, you know? And so thinking back on my religious background, my religious belief and thinking if I want to be more like God, if I want to, you know, be peaceful and loving and merciful, then I better act this way. I better show that I'm not going to be causing pain and suffering to an innocent being that he created. Basically, I went vegan overnight and it was because of the animals. And, you know, my wife and I have been involved with many activism uh, groups and we've attended many different marches and we've, we've gone to slaughterhouses. I mean, because this lifestyle is not about us. It's about the animals. It's about the victims. And we got to get the word out. We got to get the word out for these animals. Just put yourself in, in the animal's shoes. If you were the one encaged and enslaved and in tight cramps, uh, in cramped spaces and being abused and slaughtered, wouldn't you want someone fighting for you? Wouldn't you want someone standing up for you and letting people know, hey, this is what you're doing, this is what you're paying for? You know, wouldn't that be the case? Wouldn't you want someone fighting for you? So this is why we do what we do. This is why we do activism. This is why we do we fight. This is why we have this YouTube channel. And this is why we're vegan, because we don't want to, to be a part of this. We don't want to contribute to that kind of lifestyle, that type of abuse, and, and all that shit, you guys. So anyway, I know I was kind of speaking really fast. I wanted to make this a short video, you guys. And the camera's been acting up a little bit. The battery's been dying. Card's been going in and out and everything. So I wanted to make sure I get this kind of, you know, as much as I can in uh, for this video. So if you like what if you like what you saw in this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you understood it, thanks. I know I was talking fast again. Uh, Maybe I'll make a, another version of this video where I'm, I'm talking slow. You know, I'll slow things down a bit. But anyway, the reason why I went vegan is for the animals. Ethical reasons, you guys. I wanted to align my actions with my morals and my ethics. And that is why I'm still vegan. That's why I'm going to remain vegan. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. I'll see you next time. Hey, guys. Thanks for checking out our latest video here on Roots Like a Tree. And if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like what you saw, give it a thumbs down. 
Either way, it still helps our channel. And if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. After hitting the subscribe button, don't forget to click that little bell icon, turning on your notifications and allowing you to stay up to date with all of our video uploads. Thanks again for checking out this video and our channel. We're Roots Like a Tree, and we'll see you guys next time. fast.